can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Without using any calculators, evaluate. 3 over 1 times 2 raised to the power of 2 plus 5 over 2 times 3 raised to the power of 2 plus all the way down to 4049 over 2024 times 2025 raised to the power of 2. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you two different solutions in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so to answer this kind of question, we will use two different solutions. The first one is student approach. So this is my approach when I was a student. And the second one is the telescoping sum. So this second method use summation notation. Alright, so let's begin with our first method using the student's approach. First. Let's apply the law of exponent on the denominator. So 1 times 2 raised to the power of 2 simplifies to 1 squared times 2 squared. And we'll do the same thing to the rest of the denominators. And now, what we're going to do is to observe something. Because we see that 2 squared minus 1 squared, 4 minus 1 is 3. Now, 3 squared minus 2 squared, or 9 minus 4, simply equivalent to 5. And of course, the pattern continues because 2025 squared minus 2024 squared is equivalent to 4049. This is not hard to see because if you use difference of two squares, if we factor this out, you get 2025 plus 2024 times 2025 minus 2024 or 2025 plus 2024 plus times 1 or simply 4049. So now, the numerator, this numerator 3, 5, 7, and so on and so forth, until 4049, we need to replace this with its equivalent value. Now, let's focus on this result. And then, let's focus on the first term. Because we will use the concept of similar fractions to handle this. Now, from here, we can now eliminate 2 squared over 2 squared. This is just 1. And 1 squared over 1 squared, this is just 1. Now, this simplifies to 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2 squared. And we'll do the same thing to the rest, the terms. So the second term is just 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 3 squared. And the pattern continues until the last term as 1 over 2024 squared minus 1 over 2025 squared. And what we're going to do to this expression is to add all of them. Now let's focus on this result. And then take note, on this part, we have some terms like 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared, and so on and so forth. Now why we do that? Because we now see some patterns. Because we see that we can eliminate negative 1 over 2 squared and positive 1 over 2 squared. This is just 0. We also have negative 1 over 3 squared and positive 1 over 3 squared is just 0. Actually, we can eliminate from this one negative 1 over 2 squared until positive 1 over 2024 raised to the power of 2. And now from here, we see that a lot of terms cancel out except from 1 over 1 squared and negative 1 over 2025 squared. So now let's focus on this result. And if we simplify this, we get 2025 squared minus 1 over 2025 squared or simply this is 4,100,624 all over 4,100,625 and that is our answer to this question. So using student approach we get this answer. So now how about the second approach which is the telescoping sum. We will use the concept of summation notation. So using this kind of pattern, we can rewrite this, each term, as the summation of 2n plus 1 all over n squared multiplied by n plus 1 squared from n equals 1 up to 2024. And also, we can simplify this or we can rewrite this term as 
1 over n squared minus 1 over n plus 1 raised to the power 2. And if we apply the concept of summation, we arrive at the sequence 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared and so on and so forth until we reach 1 over 2024 squared minus 1 over 2025 squared. This is very familiar because we see this on our previous solution. And of course, we can eliminate this and this is called the telescoping sum because all of this term cancel out except the first and the last term which is 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2025 squared. And again, if we simplify this, we arrive at the same result, 4,100,624 all over 4,100,625. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, using two different solutions, then if we evaluate this without using calculator, we arrive at 4,100,624 over 4,100,625. And as always, we are done. And of course, don't stop asking questions because if you ask questions, we discover. And if we discover, we learn. And in learning, we grow. So see you on our next video.